What is up, Tech Express crew? I'm Steven, and today we're going to be making a WooCommerce homepage, a sales powerhouse. So let's show you how to easily add products to your homepage, highlighting your best sellers and attracting customers. So why adding products to your homepage, you might be asking. Well, basically, adding products to your homepage can uh, boost some sales, can help you, of course, to improve your user experience, uh, by making it easier for customers to find products and create a visually appealing and engaging uh, home page. So one of the method, uh, the easiest method of course is to use a WooCommerce show codes. So WooCommerce provides show codes that allows you to easily display products on any page, including your home page. So if I go and sign in directly into my home page dashboard and navigate directly into the left section that says pages, um, here, what I want to focus in on is to click into the plus icon that add, to add an actual new unblocked. So, for example, here I have new, and basically I don't have any paged in here published. So, what I'm going to be doing here is to just go back and start with an actual new page, which in this case should be new. Uh, let's go for page. And the name of this page should be my home uh, title, my home dashboard. So in this case, uh, I'm going to focus here into my new block and try to look out for a short code uh, block. So here we can use the following short codes to display some products. So we have the link down below in the description. You have this code directly in the description if you want to find out if this one actually works for you. But in this case, basically we have the products limit for columns, to order by, popularity, visibility, display, popular products in columns, and basically that will be actually it. Right? You can use product blocks if you want to, just in case you're using the Gartenberg editor, for example, the WooCommerce provides product blocks that makes it even easier to display products. So if I create, for example, a new block, you can look out for WooCommerce and I can browse all of it. So I have product search and here's my product search and adding a new block I browse all and I just type woo if I scroll all the way down uh, I have for example here more elements to add for example a new category here's a single product uh, or I can add reviews by category or adding more products so let's just go all the way up and just type the word product so I have product categories, I have product collection, here's the product tag, product category list, and basically that will be actually, if I type the product collection, it's gonna be asking me what products would you want it to show? For example, feature products, new arrivals, whatever. So if I select here the feature product, I choose the option that says choose collection, and we can create your own. So when I hit now into continue, basically here are my four products that's gonna be appearing and displayed so far. Now I'm going to save this as a draft, I'm going to look out for um, the view and preview it into a new tab, just to see how it actually looks. And if, and if this of course it appears as an actual displayed button element. Now something else to make this process much more faster is to doing and adding an actual new template directly here from WooCommerce. So focus here into uh, this new dashboard, focus here into WooCommerce. And here into WooCommerce, make sure that you already have products displayed. In this case, I have uh, products already been displayed. For example, here, I'm going to just go all my way up, add your products. And here should be appearing my products to add. So in this case, I do have a few physical products. I preview my store. Of course, it's really important to make sure how it actually looks. And here is my actual shopping. In this case, I think that we don't have any product displayed so far. But what you can do is to add them directly as just by adding the product name, the product description, the published, product images, product data, and basically so much more. So we're gonna just go back. And instead of focusing here directly into my WooCommerce element, I wanted to focus here into my upper side. It says pages, add new page. And you have the option to start totally from scratch or to just use an actual template. So here I have an actual pair that we can use for it. For example, the about section, business home, portfolio image gallery, landing page, newsletter landing, and much more stuff. So let's try out, for example, with the about section. 
Now that we have the about section, I can just focus here, for example, with this tile element. I delete them. I delete all of these blocks. And here, now I can look out for a new block, which is product collection. Choose my color collection. And I go for new arrivals. Now we can change a new collection if you wanted to, for example, create my own. And there we go. Now that's how it actually going to be appearing here. So I can just select my product column and move it later on and hit now to save my draft. So we can use page builder plugins, for example, Elementor, we can use the Beaver Builder, we can use the Divi, and all of this should be appearing directly here into my WordPress once again. And into the left section, I can focus into the one that says plugins and add new plugin. When I hit into add new plugin, I can type, for example, Elementor, keyword, and select my Elementor website builder, which in this case, uh, it should be this one. And here I have ceramic shop, here is the wooden accessory store, there's a booking sale, e-commerce wire, so you choose the demo, select it, and start to customize it. There we go. So as you can see, it's actually not that hard to use uh, WordPress, you can use templates from uh, Elementor, you can use templates from another website builder, you can do it directly here from the pages creator of the WordPress. But make sure that the WooCommerce is now being correctly installed at your actual website so you can actually now get to go. But in this case, I think I'm going to stick around with this template because all of this has now been correctly installed and actually looks really well. So if you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video and hopefully with all of this being said we can all see you next time see you guys next video